Love me and more gang. This is my two year lock anniversary as of August 21st, 2022. So now I'm going to take you guys back where it all started hair journey slash lock journey. So from the time I was born until now, I always had long, nice, pretty long black hair. My mom always made sure she kept my hair done. She put my hair in little ponytails, braids, all cute little styles. Recall in this picture if I had a perm yet, but I know I got a perm at an early age. Here in this picture, we jump a few years, a lot of years. Fully relaxed. I always love to straighten my hair, get sew-ins, get braids. Just love to try different styles, different colors. I did bleach my hair. I didn't bleach my hair as often, but I wasn't scared to bleach my hair and I wasn't afraid to get a lot of color in my hair. So in 2017, I decided to do the big chop. I really love my hair, but at first I was like, what am I going to do to my hair? And so I decided to do those little two-strand twists. Hey, this was the best convenient style that i ever had even with my locks now i feel like that short style was very convenient i really didn't have to do too much put a little bit of product water whatever and it was just very simple and convenient then i decided to bleach my hair and y'all i love how it turned out i love that i could slick it down i love that short look on me for a while and then eventually of course you know my hair did grow out and i think after this blonde i think i did like red and i did the blue and I love to wear my hair in little ponytails, high up buns, like, and I did get some sew-ins and braids throughout the time that I was a loose natural. I want to say in the end of 2019, the beginning of 2020, I was having the thoughts of locking my hair. I did decide to lock my daughter's hair in 2019, I want to say. And once I was able to lock her hair and see how her hair turned out, I got really inspired. She's my biggest inspiration when it comes to locking my hair. I can honestly say she is one of the reasons that I did decide to lock my hair. I also intentionally bleached my hair before my lock journey because I was told that it's not good to be bleaching your hair early on in your lock journey. So that's why I went on and bleached it. So these next few clips and pics are at the August 21st, 2021. If you all are interested in seeing my one year lock anniversary. I will have that link down below. I will say this go round, like I have my days where I'm like, I'm taking my locks out. Um, I just want my loose natural back, but I know it was just a phase and I know people with locks have gone through that phase before. I think this was the time I did my own first retwist on my hair. I don't care what nobody say to this day. This is my go-to hairstyle. Half up, half down. In this picture here, I decided to do two ponytails at the top and some of it down. So I kept this color in my hair for probably about two months. It's super black. Can't touch it cuz you know but y'all what y'all think of the color so in this clip here I'm just retwisting my hair again Have all of the two strand twists out. Um, looks like your girl can get her a ponytail, I believe, almost. Well, I can get me a ponytail. Okay. As y'all can see, I'm real geek because I can get me a ponytail. And from December to March, y'all, I didn't get no retwist. I waited till March to get a retwist. So I normally go like two or three months. So on this particular day, I got me a fresh retwist. But um, y'all, I'm 
now my hair has really like grew. Let's see. On this particular day, I just recreated that hairstyle that I showed y'all in the previous clip and it turned out really nice. And y'all, when I say I don't really do nothing to my hair, I really don't do nothing to my hair. I don't even oil my hair as often as I should. And another thing that I noticed, like when I get a fresh retwist and I take that style out, I feel like my locks look so thin. Like I'm so used to them being thick. And so on this particular day, I was getting ready to re-dye my hair black again. My color was fading a little bit, as you can see the green peeking through. And this is me after I have done dyed it. As y'all can see. Got my hair done. And I just got two barrel twists. Going back and she peeled it up good for me. And like some beads right here so they can lay down so they won't be like going all over the place. Although this style was very cute and I loved it, but y'all, since I've been a loose natural and locked my hair, I really can't handle styles like I know I'm very like tender headed and when I got my hair done that particular day I thought I was gonna have to take it out so I do not get styles often I also like the fact that I still get the option to play around with hats and stuff so y'all this is another one of my go-to hairstyles I haven't had a retwist since June and so I love to figure out ways that I can style my hair and I just did this slick back I love how it can give me like an elegant look. I did that same as that hairstyle on this particular day. It's very convenient, easy. And here I'm just taking my hair down and just rubbing my hand through my hair because it felt so good. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions on anything that I have said, please feel free to comment. Please don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in another video. Goodbye.